volcanic 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 volcanic
Well, another one, Jekyll here, and I hope you enjoy those new replays. So, uh, Volcanics, one of the most memeable decks on the internet. Thanks, Brain. This is, uh, this has some spice in it. So let's go through everything card by card, and afterwards, we'll get to the spice. Uh, we're playing Triple Volcanic Rocket, which is our main normal summon. It's uh, pretty good in what it does, and that is getting us right at the rate of reload. Thank you, Volcanic Rocket. You're doing a great job. Next is Volcanic Counter in two copies. To, to be perfectly honest, this is here. I don't even know why, why is this here. I was just looking for Volcanic Monsters. I added Rockets. Uh, I added three copies of Scattershot. I added three copies of Shell and I was like, let's add some more. And I added Counter, which is fine in what it does. It can also close out games, which I find extremely hilarious. It, however, that play is also extremely telegraphed because, well, that can only activate from the graveyard. So your opponent will know that Counter is there and the effect is mandatory, so they can play around it. However, there is one thing that works in our advantage, and that is the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't read cards. Two copies of Royal Firestorm cards, because, well, I already talked about Scattershot's shell, and our three copies of Reload. We're also playing a small fluffle package for the draw power, with Double Dolphin, Triple Bear, Triple Wings, and Triple Vendor. Why is it? Uh, of course to draw, because uh, we like drawing cards, but also since we can get Toy Vendor and use it to set up a shell play, send counter, we can pitch Toy Vendor for Summon Among, so it can get Volcanic Rocket on the field, get a search. It's quite versatile, it does plus a lot, so that's also something I really like about this. I've already mentioned Summon Among, it's uh, here, so we can get uh, Volcanic Rocket to search Reload, or to get Dolphin to reset the Toy Vendor, send Wings to the graveyard, and then See summon something like Dugaris, so we can draw two more cards, send one to the graveyard, so at the end of that line of play, we have Fluffle Wings and Fluffle Dolphin in the grave with a set Toy Vendor, allowing for additional draw from the wings, which I really like actually. Next is the biggest spice in this deck, three copies of Dynabase, which can only be summoned if your life wings is lower than the opponent's, so it's not getting special summoned that quickly, however, it can use itself and monsters in our hand or from the field as fusion materials to summon a fusion monster. And we have two. Blaze Phoenix, the burning bombardment burb, which requires one machine and one pyro monster, and Ignition Beast Volcanon, which also requires one machine and one pyro. All of the volcanics are pyro, Dino Base is a machine. That was a really easy choice. Next we have two copies of Cold of the Old Man, uh, because additional burn, maybe some healing, why the hell not? Two copies of Foolish Burial Goods, so we can send Toy Vendor or Reload to the grave to set up either some searching draw power or a quick play, scattershot play. One Burial, so we can send Shell, Counter, uh, or any of the Fluffles to the grave. Two copies of uh, Popper Up, which allows us to discard cards and draw the same amount, which I think is really good. It can also set up a Dynabase play, since it lowers our attack points instead of the opponent. As for some defensive capabilities, we have Cold by the Grave, Ash Blossom, and Imperm. For our extra deck, I already mentioned Blaze Phoenix and Ignition Beat Volcanon. Blaze Phoenix is here because it's big and it can burn. Volcanon also can burn. It's a bit smaller than Blaze Phoenix, but it's also spot removal, which I really like. Then we have a few rank 4s with Minerva, Dugaris, and Emerald. And Minerva is here because, well, we like to mill our cards, especially the Fluffles, maybe some shells, some counters, so we like to have some of our talents. Mill to Goddess is basically some more draw power, while Emerald is recycling in draw power. For our links, we have Link Rebo, Nightmare Package with Phoenix, Cerberus, Unicorn, and Griffin. Didn't really come up, like, at all. And one copy of IP Mascarena, because I didn't know what to put in. And that's, uh, that's the deck. It's extremely hilarious. I love it. Especially if I can OTK my opponent with my two copies of Countdown. That'll be it for today, so now let's see the deck's stats.